Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's do a few example problems to see if what we've seen so far that we have learned that. So the first one is a simple problem. We have a capacitor, 5 microfarad capacitor, a 20 volt voltage source, and we're trying to find the charge on the capacitor and the energy stored on the capacitor. Using the equation, the definition of capacitance being equal to the charge collected on the capacitor divided by the voltage across the capacitor, we can then see that Q is equal to C times V. In other words, if we then take the capacitance, which is 5 microfarads, and we multiply it times the voltage, which is 20 volts, 20 times 5 makes 100 microcoulombs. Of course, the units for charge is coulombs. And I set 100 and I wrote 10. 5 times 20 is 100 microcoulombs. Next, we need to find the energy stored in that capacitor. So since it has 100 microcoulombs of charge, we can then say that it's fully charged. U is equal to 1 half times the capacitance times the voltage squared. Hmm, we have the charge, but we need to know the voltage. But in this particular case, we know that the voltage is 20 volts across here, which means that this is equal to 1 half times the capacitance, 5 microfarads, times the voltage, 20 volts squared. Now the units of that will be in terms of joules. So when we multiply this together, we get 1 half times 5 times 10 to the minus 6 farads times 400 volts squared. The units of this farads times volts squared will give us joules. 5 times 10 to the minus 6 times 400, which is 2,000, or 2 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 2, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 3, 1 times 10 to the minus 3, the units would be joules, or 1 millijoule. And that would then be the total energy stored on the capacitor. And that's how we find the charge in a capacitor and the energy stored on a capacitor.